Grief restoration has been around for a good amount of time, but The Thousand Mermaids is merging art with reef restoration. I gotta hear about this. So the Ocean Rescue Alliance is a marine conservation and restoration nonprofit organization, and we specialize in creating artificial reefs that create fish habitat, but also incorporate art to bring awareness to marine conservation. So the A Thousand Mermaids project is one of our eco art artificial reef projects where we sculpt people as mermaids to bring awareness. But more importantly, it creates fish habitat and we actually are able to outplant coral right on the structures. So you create a structure, you put it on the reef, and then you stick coral on it. Correct. So we actually developed a lot of different restoration technologies like the coral lock and we're able to really use a threaded frag plug receiver. So this threaded frag plug enables us to simply screw in coral fragments to different artificial reef units. Okay. These ones are for natural reefs, but we also apply them to our artificial reef structures. So you can simply screw in coral fragments. Now, some of your structures you tell me are small, and some of them would hardly fit in this booth. Definitely. So we have a variety of different reef modules we've been researching for the last three years. We have over 35 different structures. So we really want to see what's the most conducive for promoting fish biodiversity while also helping and enable restoration techniques. So what's the best for also natural coral recruitment? So we have a different material design that Reef Cells, our reef builder, has been developing for the last few years that actually helps increase natural coral recruitment to the structure. It's pH neutral, so it's an eco-friendly concrete. And this is better than, say, sinking a ship and creating a reef. Absolutely, and so that's, that's a lot of the problems is a lot of artificial reefs are typically the trash of land, right? Construction pilings, limestone boulders, just tossed in the ocean, and that looks nothing like natural reefs, right? Okay. So it lacks that habitat complexity, and we really need that to help support fisheries. We can't be reactive like we are with everything else in life, <laughs> right? And, and as our reefs are dying, we can't wait for our reefs to die to wonder where our fish are going to go. So one thing we really specialize in is creating that complexity that mimics natural reefs. So we can support fisheries, but also create new reefs in areas that might not be impacted from disease and actually might help corals grow better. So you're taking care of the coral and you're helping fish as well. Absolutely. And it's art. Yes. So we try to emerge technology and the latest and greatest with okay. technology. So we actually use 3D scanning where you can come in, strike a pose, we'll 3D scan you and actually can create you into a reef module. And we did that with a, one of our first mermaid models, and she actually laid down in her tail, okay. and she was one of our first mermaid reefs. So it's pretty pretty unique. What's the craziest structure that you all have <laughs> made and put on the reef? Definitely our mermaids project's been one of the biggest ones taking hold in Florida, but what I'm most passionate about is when we're doing in Mexico, that's a Mayan-themed artificial reef. Okay. And now we're actually doing a serpent deity called the Clu Clan. And so the reef will be shaped as a snake and actually have all of those Mayan features. So okay. The art's the fun part. We can get really creative and do any type of reef structure, whether that's for a corporate brand. We could do a really large reef. For example, in Florida, we were thinking about doing a, a hard rock reef where you can do a guitar that would look like a guitar in the ocean from flying over. Okay. But then when you dive the site, we can make each position a different musician. So it can really create a unique site that's really impactful for that corporate brand. Right. But more importantly, it's creating restoration and fish habitat. How many of these have you put down in the ocean? So we've outplanted now about 10,000 corals, and that's continuing to grow. We're actually expanding internationally as well, and are looking to get some coral locks over to some of our partners in Australia. Okay. And especially also developing countries, island countries in the Caribbean, we're really wanting to enable these technologies to scale restoration on natural reefs, but also creating these artificial sites. They create alternate dive sites that alleviate pressures off of natural systems, okay. while creating nurseries where we can engage the public to outplant more coral and help cultivate as much as we can. So are you growing the coral too, or does someone else do that for you? So right now we partner within the Alliance to really work with different restoration practitioners. So we provide all of the coral lock technologies and actually work with them. So we don't have a nursery yet, but we do plan to in the future. How can anyone not be excited about <laughs> that? Yeah, right? Hey, we, we need as much help as we can get. Um, I mean, even one thing we just started doing was celebratory memorial reefs, but you can celebrate an anniversary or a loved one and actually get a plaque and we outplant coral right around it. So yeah. each person can contribute to restoration. I think, you know, that's one of the biggest problems in marine restoration itself. You know, ocean's out of sight, out of mind for many people. If you don't live on the coastline, a lot of people feel like their impact's too small to help. And that's in fact not true at all. There's much that we can do as an individual to impact our environments. And so one thing we really want to do with art is help really make that connection and make it more personal to people too. 
So how can people get involved? How can they help you do what you want to do? So of course, definitely support any of our projects. We have adopt a coral programs. You can create your own reef module. If you really want your own sculpture, you can do that. But um, definitely support, we have education programs that we go in and teach K through 12 about marine conservation initiatives. So visit our websites. There's lots of ways to engage, volunteer. Uh, you can help dive and help monitor as well. So I can come dive with you. Absolutely. You come can on leave now, site. right? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's get out of here and get in the water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're actually getting ready to release a virtual and augmented reality that is a lesson platform. So it'll be an immersive experience. So anywhere on your computer, you can dive and actually outplant coral from your computer and feel what it's like to do marine conservation and restoration. And we're going to use develop this into a lesson platform to teach about fish ID, coral species ID, and really help use it as a training tool when we bring people out to our reef sites. Yeah. So even if you're not a diver, you can experience it on the computer yeah. and go from there. Absolutely. Sign yeah. me up. <laughs>